Hey guys, welcome back to another Ways to Style video where I style one item several different ways. Today we're going to be styling these Aritzia leather pants. I believe they're called the Funk Pants and I will make sure to link them for you guys. I absolutely love them. The color, the fit, the style, everything is just right. Aritzia just does really good leather pants every fall and winter so I definitely recommend if you're looking for a pair. Okay, right into these outfits. We're going to start with more casual and work our way up to some dressier looks. Outfit number one is super chill, simple, casual. All I'm doing is adding three pieces to the leather pants. So a button down white shirt, some plain white sneakers, and a big white tote bag. I love how chill and just cool girl vibes this outfit is. It's something I would throw on if I was going shopping, running errands, or just meeting a friend for like a casual coffee. I really like this look. Still keeping with the casual vibes for outfit number two, I kept the plain white sneakers and then changed the button down white shirt for this really fun asymmetrical t-shirt that I love. And then I threw on my tiny little micro bag in this neutral color that works well with the color of the pants. And then obviously because it is fall, it gets a little cold. So I threw on this denim jacket in that same kind of color family. And then the glasses, I just thought were really cute with the look. So I threw them on, but they're blue light lenses. You wouldn't just casually be walking with those. Okay, number three, still keeping it casual, but this time it's a little more batty, tough vibes. I switched from pairing the pants with whites and nudes to all black, so I paired it with this cutout one shoulder top, layered on this black maxi cardigan to keep things cozy, and for shoes, I went with my Doc Martens. I didn't like the look of the pants with the boots, I just think that they're too long for the boot because they're a little bit taller above the ankle. So what I do to fix that is just kind of tuck the pants into themselves as if you were cuffing them, but you cuff them inwards and I just find that that looks better. It, the pants just hit at a better height on the boot that way. For my bag, I went with my Michael Kors bag. I am absolutely obsessed with this bag. It's like the bag of the season for me. I can't put it down and you'll be seeing it a lot more in the coming looks. Outfit number four, we're kind of going more monochrome, so keeping in the same color family-ish as the pants. So I went with this nudie brown cardigan from Oak and Fort, and then for the boots, I opted for these brown ones that are not exactly the same as the pants. Um, they're a little darker, but I thought they worked well with this look. And then for the bag, I went with this cute little mini backpack from Call It Spring. I really liked how cute and cozy this look was. For outfit number five, I thought a whole leather look would be fun, so I paired the pants with this leather jacket. I wore it untucked and only with one button done. I was trying to recreate this look that I had posted on my Instagram, but then ended up thinking that it didn't work out, so I wanted to tuck the top into the pants. I do like it better, I just don't think I did a great job tucking the shirt, so just do a better job tucking the shirt if you're gonna recreate this look. Or better yet, if you have a leather top that doesn't have so much extra fabric to tuck in, I think it will look better, but I still like this look Overall, I do like the color of the shirt with the color of the pants and then I went with just black accessories because I felt we already had a lot going on between the color of the top and the pants. Number six, we are going back to black again. I decided to keep the same black boots and then throw on this black turtleneck that is also from Maritzia. I really like it. The turtleneck part is really nice and big and cozy. It's super cute. And then I paired it with this mini bag from Zara. The bag can actually also be worn around your waist as like a fanny pack, so I wanted to do that. I just felt like it added a lot more interest. It just made this outfit a little more different than just me holding the bag. That's why I decided to wear it that way. It just looks a little more chic, a little bit more elevated. Number 
Look number seven, you have seen already if you watched my fall lookbook video, but I really love this look. I think it was my favorite in that fall lookbook. So I had to share it with you guys one more time. So again, I paired the pants with this top from Aritzia. I really like this top. The cut of it is really great and I do love the cutout that it has. For shoes, I matched the top with these white heeled sandals. I know it's already really cold for sandals, but I'm not gonna lie, I totally do wear sandals if I'm going out and dressing up sometimes and just suck it up, so I really would wear these in the cold. For outfit number eight, I was kind of going for a cozy winter white look. So I went with my trusty white sweater. I love the sweater. I bring it out every season without fail and style a bunch of looks with it. So I paired that with the leather pants and then went ahead and layered it with this white long line coat. It's not really a true white. It's definitely an off white. It's not my ideal pick. I would have loved for something a little bit more oversized and less structured, but this is what I had that was the closest to my vision. And then I paired the look with these pointy white mules and again my favorite bag. Look number eight is definitely the most chic boss vibes look. I paired the leather pants with, with this black blazer and these black heeled sandals. I went again with my Michael Kors bag for this look. I just feel like this whole look is just very chic and that bag obviously elevates the whole look. This is something I would wear if I was going out for drinks with my friends or something like a little fancier. If you're not comfortable just wearing the blazer or, or it's just not the place and the time, you can definitely throw on a little black cami under. I went with this cute little textured crop top under to show you. All right, we are at look number 10, and this one is definitely more street style to me. And I think what gives that energy off is tucking the pants into these boots and just like the slouchy kind of cargo pants vibes that it gives. To me, this outfit just screams Brooklyn, New York. I have no idea why. <laughs> For the top, I styled the pants with what is actually a sweater dress, also from Maritzia. I style this dress very often as a top, but it does come in a sweater style if you don't want to deal with the excess fabric. I actually don't mind, and I think that it adds to the street style look of this outfit. Before we wrap it up, I wanted to show you guys two more coat options. I feel like I didn't show you guys enough. So the first option is this big oversized teddy coat. I feel like it really works with this look as well. Like, tell me this doesn't give you bad and bougie Brooklyn or just New York in general. Coat option number two is this camel coat that you guys have seen me wear a ton. I really love it. I especially like that it matches the pants really well. It kind of adds to that monochrome styling that I really like and I just think that it elevates the look. That is it guys, that is all the looks. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know which look was your favorite in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video.